What dishes do you serve at your Thanksgiving table? I've got a super fun twist on cranberry sauce today. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we are passionate about healthy and delicious recipes that make your body and your taste buds smile. Today, we're going to be making an apple pear cranberry salad. Let's begin by placing eight large pitted medjool dates into a high-speed blender. So the dates are going to act as our sweetener today in the recipe. To your blender, we're going to add one cup of filtered water. If you'd like to up the orange flavor, you can juice one orange, which I did. I got about one quarter of a cup and then add to it filtered water until you get the full one cup. And then add that to your blender, along with one eighth a teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt. If your dates are hard, I highly recommend just letting them sit and soak here in the water and juice in the blender for a few minutes, and that's going to make blending them up so much easier. Blend up your dates until you reach a nice, smooth consistency. Now we're ready to add our date mixture to a medium-sized saucepan. You'll notice that it's a pretty thick mixture. And now for the star of our recipe, I have one pound of fresh cranberries. You could also use some thawed out frozen cranberries. And cranberries actually have the highest concentrated amount of antioxidants of all fruits. For some additional orange flavor, I'm going to add in two strips of organic orange peel that are about mm, five inches long. I wouldn't be too concerned with the length. I would be more concerned about using an organic orange so that we can avoid those pesticides and insecticides that really wreak havoc on our digestive tract. If you love the flavor of ginger like I do, this is an optional ingredient. I'm going to add in one inch of fresh ginger root. You can add it two different ways. You could mince it up and then keep it in there after we cook up our sauce. Or like I am, I just chop them into bigger chunks and I'm going to remove them after I'm done heating up the sauce. Either way is going to be great and bring out some wonderful ginger flavor. Stir everything together, being sure to coat the orange and the ginger so that their flavors cook into the sauce. Turn on the heat to medium high, and then once the cranberries begin to steam, turn down the heat to low. Continue cooking for about 10 to 12 minutes, stirring frequently. You want most of the cranberries to pop open. Then remove the pan from the heat and let the cranberry sauce cool to the touch. Now we're ready to remove the orange peel and the ginger. For an added boost of digestive joint, skin, hair, nail, teeth, and bone support, stir in two scoops of our clean sourced collagens powder. Now we are ready to add in some delicious flavors and nutrition to our cranberry sauce. First, I have two stalks of chopped up celery, one large apple chopped up into bite-sized pieces, and I think it's always great to chop up your ingredients into easy to eat sized pieces, especially in salads. One chopped up pear, and last one half of a cup of chopped up pecans or walnuts for some protein and healthy fat. Toss everything together really well, and then cover and refrigerate until you are ready to serve. And now for my favorite part, I get to give this apple pear cranberry salad a taste. It is so bright and colorful, I cannot wait. What a beautiful blend of flavors. Oh my goodness, I love the tartness of the cranberries. It's not a super sweet salad, which I really appreciate. And I love, so we let the cranberry sauce cool before we added in the apples and the pears and the celery and the walnuts. And that way the fruit did not get cooked. 
so it's still nice and crunchy. Mm, and if you've ever had a warm date sauce, like what we cooked our cranberries in, it kind of gives this caramel flavor to it. Oh my goodness, you want to serve up something delicious and inviting and super nutritious, your Thanksgiving meal, I highly recommend giving this one a try. Thanks for being with me today. From our family to yours, here's wishing you a heart full of gratitude, a healthy, bountiful table, and loved ones to share it with. Bye-bye.